hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can do a join operation between sharepoint list in an efficient way so for that we are going to take uh, help of power automate where we would be using one master list and the other would be a list which would be having few rows but a common uh, column to it so that we can do a left uh, join to extract the additional columns or the fields and then create a table so that that table in turn can be sent as an email or can be utilized later on so that we are going to do so uh, right now for doing this demo i have created these two lists which is my asset manager list which actually holds all the assets uh, for my company so it's a laptop with a serial number asset tag model type everything it's a basically it's a master list and i have created one another list that is asset retired so this is a subset list which would be having few assets which are marked for retirement so i wish to have this uh, join with this my master list so that i can extract the additional columns to it in a power in power automate and so that that table can be built and sent out as an edge as an uh, email or uh, stored somewhere so this join operation we are going to do so over here we are not entirely going to rely on the get items because that would not be pretty much efficient and why because if i just go one one by one to get the items and do a call into my master list so that would be for example it's three items so three and ten items over here in the master list and that's a 30 different call so we are not going to do that so what we are going to do we are going to build one filter query so that that filter query actually would contains the filtering criteria so only these serial numbers should be picked up while we want to query this list so this is the demo which we are going to build out so for that i just go to this make.powerautomate.com and i'll be creating one flow and that flow for a demo i would be just doing that as a manual trigger so i'll just go to my flows and create a cloud flow and i'll just do that as a manual trigger just for the demo purpose you can schedule that based on your requirement so in first step what we are going to do we are going to fetch the data from this our asset retired list which is a subset list and i'll just take the help of get items from sharepoint so that would give me the all the items for my this subset list that is asset retired so i'll just connect to my this site and choose my list name as set retired that would give me just four or five items which are required to make a left join operation with a master list so in the next step i would be just iterating through it so that i can create one filter query out of it so for that we would be initializing one variable initially itself and that variable let's say uh, is a filter string so I'll do initialize variable and I'll name that as a filter array and this would be of type array and we are going to add the items to this array so that that can be in turn used so now again going back to my get items and after that I'll just have apply to each or you can actually like have the compose operation which will bind it to the apply to each so i'll just say compose and in the input so i am going to bind it to the serial number so that it can automatically bind that to the apply to each now we have this apply to each and over here i'll simply say append to array so that we can build the array out of it and the array is filter array which we initialized earlier and over here i'll just say the serial number and this compose we just created because we wanted to automatically uh, bind it to apply to each we can remove it so we don't need it so we just need is append to array variable so now we have this serial number but we have to create a filter query so for that we would be writing it as serial number the column which actually this would hold so i will just go to my this asset manager the master list and will check 
the column name for my the serial number so i'll just say this is my column number internal name i would say the serial number and i will paste that into my this list so that we can build out this filter query and i'll say equal to because it's a single line text so i can i should be having this filter query created so it will up, keep on appending this query to this filter array so ultimately we will be having array where uh, the number of uh, keys would be there for example is three items and three array items would be there serial number equal to 0102 like that so this is how we are going to build it in the next thing we are going to because creating one or operation for my filter rest filter query so we are going to do the join operation so that we can have or uh, keyword attached to all these uh, filtered array a part of previous operation so i'll just click on data operation join and join my the previous array the filter array with or or keyword so now we are going to build out the or query over here so once it's done we'll just save it and we will just run it so that we can see the outcome of my join operation what is there so we are uh, there in right direction or not so i'll just run it manually first and then just test it so it ran successfully and in the outcome in the body you can see i have this serial number equal to by this but you can see like this or is actually just uh, I mean there is no space into this serial number so this query would fail so we got that we have to add the spaces to R so I'll just add the space in front and in back so that we can have the valid spaces now as a next step the step one is completed as a next step I wish to have this filter query which we just built to pass on to the master uh, asset manager list so that we can filter out the data with the additional columns so for that I'll use this send HTTP request where we are going to pass this rest query with the filter whatever we have built right now. So I'll use send HTTP request to SharePoint. I'll connect to the site where this asset manager master list resides. And in method is get and in URI we are going to use the URI as API web list get by title asset manager and items filter by this the outcome of the outcome which we are get which we get from our join operation over here so right now we are good we can just once save it and run it just to look at that what we are getting into the response body just to make sure that our query is correct so we are just running it with a test operation so it ran successfully and we can go to the output of SharePoint and right now in the URI you can see like it has built the filter serial number equal to this 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 and it's a valid query and we got the valid result in the output in body we got this output which is uh, nothing but a result JSON and this is the uh, body which that body JSON which we are going to pass in the next step so as I said we are going to mail this entire body to the in the email so we have to declare one more variable so let's say this variable is again a array which would contain which would hold the html so i would say that html array and this would be type of array again and now in next step we are going to fill the fill this html array out so that that can be used in turn sending the table into email so now this body json we have to pass that because it's a d dot result dot and the entire data so we have to buy use apply to each first of all so that we can iterate through it and in the body we would be passing the expression so i'll just open my new notepad so that i can show you it's a body send html to sharepoint that's the action and then d results and this title is a column actually so what we are going to do we are going to just copy this so that we can iterate through the result into apply to each uh, not here actually in the expression and over here in next tab where we are going to read the 
uh, operation so we let's say just add one compose so that we can at least read out the title and we'll be just using this apply to each because it's a current item so i'll just say from dynamic current item uh start talking i got this current item because this is applied to each so i'll just pick this up but this item would just give me this item but i need to iterate the values out of it the columns out of it so i'll just remove this curly braces which i just copied and then add this title so that i can get the column value actual column value i'll just copy it and paste it so i'll just remove it again and in the expression i just copy it and i got the title so i'll just for the testing i'll just save it to make sure that we are able to extract the title out of r apply to each i'll just say test so it ran successfully and we will be directly going to the apply to each so it traversed through two because it found two items and in compose it actually gave me the output as this title and this title belongs to this asset tag so asset tag is just a display name if you sort on this you will see it's a title feed only so this is how it's giving it so i'll just go back to our flow and we keep on modifying we'll just build this html out so now as we are good so i can directly use my append to variable append to array variable which we created initially and we'll start filling up our this html array with the actual columns which we can extract out of this body so i'll just say in the value i'll just mention this as json and i can create this table so i'll just say serial tag serial tag i can map that to the title which we copied so it's fine i just copy this one and go to expression over here and paste this expression i'll just remove the curly braces which we just got because of the copying and then i can build my table over here so as its first first column is serial tag second column let's say we'll just pick this manufacturer so i just need the internal name of this column and we'll go over there i'll just replace this with my column copy this entire expression and go back to my power automate i'll just say over here menu factorer and this is will be done with this expression that we copied as a manufacturer okay and i can keep on adding to my table i can just go for the other model other uh, fields so let's pick this model field i just copy this add it replace it in the manufacturer place and copy this entire expression again so here we can keep on building our this uh, table the html table which we are going to write to our email so over here i'll just put again to the expression copy so we are good so we have we have created just three column table over here so right now we are good and we don't need this compose action anymore i can just delete it because it was just for test so once this html is created so as a final step we have to convert this html array to the html table so again i have to take help of uh, data operation that is create html table so it should be part of data operation create html table and from from our this html array which we filled out and final step is just to send that as an email for testing otherwise you can save it email it transform it to pdf whatever you wish to do and just sending that to myself for demo i'll just say retired asset list and in this body it will be just my output of my html so so far what we have done is in a this power automate we got the items the items which we want to do a left join over this master table so we iterated through those item 
so it's one call and post that building out our actual filter query with the or operation so if you would able to extract all the matching items or rows from this sharepoint list and have that available for us to iterate through whatever data operations we wish to do so it's a very effective efficient way of doing it and over here let's save it and then and run it so it ran successfully and we must have got the email if we just open this create html you would see like this entire array is filled for us for the retired assets and it's actually in my list we are having just two uh, three assets but in result we are getting two because one of the serial number the filter query is not matching into this list so that means like one of the serial number is wrong basically so i can go to my email just to validate that we got the html table and this is the email which was sent to us and this is the email so we have this serial tag manufacturer and model so that's how we can achieve a joining operation between two lists in an efficient way so i think the objective we have achieved for this video and if you have any questions do drop your comments if you have questions then also like i would be happy to reply that's it for today thank you